Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another League of Legends interaction reaction. Uh, that's a fucking tongue twister there. But anyway, uh, I thought we would react to Zolani this time because I remember I got recommended from a viewer that I should watch the two two Zolani videos, which were which both were obviously interaction. One was normal Zolani in her base human form. I would I would assume I really don't know, and another Zolani in her aspect or whatever fuck form that is, aspects being. But anyway, uh, I really don't know anything about Zolani that much. All I know is that she's a Darken and she doesn't like Aatrox and Aatrox doesn't like Zolani. And obviously, you know, I'm obviously always on Aatrox's side because I find him much more badass. But uh, I'm going to go in on this video with very, a very, very blind perspective because I really don't know much about Zolani. So I cannot really give an in-depth explanation as to why these ex uh, some of these... How do I say some of these interactions are the way they are? Actually, that's pretty much for most of the interactions that I'm going to react to in the future as well. Because um, I know some League of Legends lore to an extent only. I watch Necrid videos, but that doesn't mean I'm as, as big of an expert as Necrid is. <laughs> but hey, I think that's fine nonetheless. Uh, it's much more fun sometimes when you go in blind. But anyway uh as usual i will link both of the original videos in the description so you guys can go check it out and support a crazy channel along with the videos themselves they absolutely deserve it these are very enjoyable to watch and just gives you a bigger and broader perspective on how these characters interact would interact with each other if they met in the league of legend lore at least but anyway let's just get into the video and since we're starting off with uh kane and whoever that girl is probably is zolani i guess in her human form? Is she from Ionia? I didn't know that. Stand aside, child. The weapon is mine. Is violence the only path I have left? Is violence the only path? Wait, June is maybe the vessel that Zolani corrupted, right? Somebody please explain the lore to me to an extent. In the comments. You think you're strong enough to wield a darkened weapon, foolish girl? Okay, 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 I think I get what this interaction is, but this girl is not Zolani. She's about to become a vessel for Zolani, it seems, if I'm right. Why is Kane there, though? What the fuck? Did he search for other darkened weapons? I'm so confused. I don't think most of these are canon, are they? At least some of the scenarios are obviously not canon. They haven't happened in their real, real League of Legends lore. You leave me no choice! Whoa, shit, is she gonna wield it? Oh yeah, Get she's gonna wield in. it. Whoa! There it is, dude. I am free. She's fucked. That's some great transition there. I like the transition. Her design is very badass, I'll admit, and I believe she, when she was a human, she belonged to the tribe that Master Yi belonged because they had the same type of mask or whatever you call that. Uh, it's kind of cool. I am ascended. Darken now. She's cool. Who would be stronger, Aatrox or Zolani? Let me know. I believe Aatrox is still stronger. They will never die because I will never let them. Neither will you die as well. It War seems. is a curse I cannot permit. Hopefully, it's not too loud. I do apologize if it's a bit too loud, but I just need to hear it myself as well. I got bad ears, bad hearing. Life is precious. It must be protected. My children, the first of all. Oh yeah. Yours is the one will, Zolani. Oh, they are fucked. They are my mind control, I would assume. We have waited so long, Zolani. <laughs> what the fuck are these dipshits? And now peace is just moments away. We, I'm sorry, but we have to react to Aatrox next week. We have to react to Aatrox next week. I, I mean, it just would make sense to understand why. I mean, to understand the Lord a bit better. 
at least in the interactions. You took everything from me. I finally had hope. Bitch, please. Hope is a poisonous draft, but I bring life and death. <laughs> I am your family now. You will come to love me. Voluntarily your love or not. Is a sickness born of hatred. Come, child. We write a new legacy of peace. Oh yeah? Yours will be a legacy of lies and blood. Who the fuck is this guy? He looks badass as hell. Tarash, I feel like I've heard that name. He has a double A. He's a darken as well, but he serves the general Aatrox. Because Aatrox, the darken, is the general, so obviously he has a lot of authority over the other darkens. So many follow him, at least. At least in the Legends of Runeterra, but in the League of Legends of the Lord, it seems he is pretty much alone always. He just travels alone and tries to find death, if I remember. So... Uh, this is kind of cool, like, seeing all these other Darken models, like, Tarash looks fucking badass. It looks like he has corrupted a dragon. It must be a dragon, so I would assume his vessel is a dragon, or a dragon that tried to wield the fucking weapon or some shit. I don't know. But nonetheless, fucking badass Darken designs. Why can't we have this in the fucking game? Maybe it will be in the MMORPG make game they will make in the future, which I have. Very excited for it, but a bit worried as well, because MMORPGs aren't that easy to make hush my child be at peace speak my truth Tarosh peace through servitude why the fuck does he talk like that is it because he has possessed the dragon and doesn't have the tongue of uh, the tongue of man that really really well uh, how do I say smoothed out I am freed. There I is. am ascended. Peace through servitude. Oh yeah. You are better than this. You needn't suffer. Let me in. You're welcome in my house anytime. If I see her coming. Listen, I know she's darken, but she's still hot nonetheless. So you're welcome anytime. But I am not a degenerate. I am an honorable man that serves Aatrox. This bitch needs to be a get rid of. I don't like her. If Aatrox doesn't like her, I don't like her. Get her out of here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I went into my RP phase for a bit. I cannot die. Well, you are darkness, so I need you. Dude, imagine. Now, maybe this is me drawing a fanfic here. Imagine at the end of the day, Zolani and Aatrox fall in love. That's kind of fucking cringe, but this is the type of, uh, the type of uh, the thought process that I would have usually when I was a teenager. I would ship a lot of things that I saw that were kind of fit together. I mean, think about it, it'd be kind of cool, like, Zolani and Aatrox coming together hand in hand. Um, private parts in private parts, and there it is, they make darkened children. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful story. They shouldn't hire me as the new writer for the League of Legends lore. <laughs> Fucking Christ, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm sorry that you had to imagine that, uh, that fanfic there. Aatrox! Dead. Bitch. There it is, dude. So that's the first. Now we're gonna react to Zolani, the Blood Weaver, and Aspects Bane. I already have that popped on my other window. Let's react to it right away. There's not much to be said about the previous video. It was just a cool introduction as to how Zolani came to be. Now we're going to probably see. I believe I have actually reacted to this before. Not exactly the voice line itself, but much more of a from a lore perspective now that I think about it. I think this is the, on the left side, Zolani in her final form. And I believe the one on the right is obviously Kale. But that's her final form as well. Fuck no, because Kale and Morgana, they are sisters, right? And they had 
a mother that fought against Zolani. Fuck me, maybe I'm getting stuff mixed up. I'm not sure if this is Kale's mother or Kale herself. I, I, I don't know. I, I assume there's some uh, Zolani fans in the comments that knows about the lore. Please let me know at least the basic uh, stuff about Zolani and in general some of the some stuff related to this video. Why do you look on me with horror, child? Why do you look on me? Bitch, how the fuck do you expect me to look at you? Look at you. Look at you. What the fuck is that form? Monster, usurper, relinquish my mother. Yes, I knew it. Uh, mother would uh, Kale's mother or and Morgana's mother was also included in this lore. I just don't know what she what role she played. Wow, that's hot. Mine is the one will. Wait, that's Aatrox. And he's fighting Kale. Interesting. What good is freedom to the dead? I see lies in words and truth in blood. And truth in blood. Interesting. Legends of Runeterra voice lines. Lovely. Come, Taros. We must save all our enemies. You may kill. We must save them all. I mean, they were all good people before they became dark, and obviously they just kind of became corrupted through void power. My will is yours, Solani. I thought Taros was uh, Aatrox's follower or s subordinate. Maybe Zolani turned Tarash against Aatrox and Ch A Tarash just eventually changed teams in a way. Let us rid this world of war. The blade of Akathia himself. Good. The blade of Akathia. In case you guys don't know, Akathia is, I believe, the place where all the Ascended became corrupted after the war with the Void. Um... Aatrox was there, it seems. It seems Zolani was also there. I uh, I believe there was another Ascendant there that led all the other Ascendant, which wasn't surprisingly Aatrox. Aatrox still probably was one of the strongest Ascendant, but there was another Ascendant that led all the other Ascendant, but she died, if I remember. So, obviously, next in line for leadership would be, obviously, Aatrox. I mean, technically, the per the person that would rule the uh, rule over them all would still be Azir, but Azir just kind of got betrayed by Zerath, and you know the story, so on. I've wasted centuries for this coward. I love it. Let yours. us end this madness, Alani. Yours is the one death I will abide. She brings life. She wants to rid us of war. Save everybody except Aatrox. They don't seem to be on good terms, it seems like. Holy shit. She is returned. My fears were well founded. <laughs> Look at that. No longer, child. I will save you all. Only the guilty need fear me. I'm sure. Oh, guilty fool. Open your eyes. Kind of true, honestly. My goodness and purity was almost... Mihira. Now, I believe this is the mother of Kale and Morgana. Aspect of justice. <coughs> Mihira. Thy goodness and purity was almost divine. Wait, no, this is the mother or is this the aspect itself? Fuck me, I don't know. <laughs> divine. The purity of my vision has only grown in aspect. Thy corruption is the darkness at the heart of the impure. At the heart of the impure. A truth I alone can alter. You will submit, Mahira, and then the people too. Wickedness cannot overcome divine intent. If you can bleed, Mihira, you can be bent. Well, she might not bleed normally, but hey. I will purge thy mind's poison, thy blackened heart. 
God damn. Imagine this world silent and obedient. That's what Aatrox wants, in a way. Soon this will all be over. Hopefully. This strength must be mine. That is my burden. I must protect them. Who? Who? I cannot trust them. Blood cannot lie. I really want to know her lore. You will embrace peace. Your blood demands more. I'm sure. Give me everything. Finally, this world can rest. I mean, they have almost similar girls compared to Aatrox, Allah. I mean, I think Aatrox kind of really wants the same in a way. Not exactly the same, but... A bigger picture, the bigger picture are almost similar, but the details are very different, obviously. Silence. How I will treasure it. How many missteps must these fools make? I wonder. I still breathe. There is yet time. Why? A pox upon you! God dang. Oh. I am one second, everybody. Apologies for the sudden pause. I had to just close the door in case. Zolani Aspects Vein. This is her final form if Everything. I remember. I am the weaver of wills. Why do you look on me with horror, child? Monster! Usurper! Relinquish my mother! Same, uh, I guess this is the same, uh, thing we already heard before, but this is... She just probably says this again in her new form. Final form. You do not deserve to bear her visit! Oh, maybe this is when she probably ate or consumed uh, the aspect of justice. That's how she became like that, I would assume. Zolani, I mean. We are one, Kale. We are your mother. Ah, yes. Yeah, so it's probably you consumed. You make a She's mockery probably... of all she stands for. Literally. We the are opposite. nothing if not divine. It pains us to see you act on retribution alone. Yeah. You will see what I know of justice. I am the Weaver of Wills. I am the Weaver of I Wills. I am everything. So aspects pain. I am everything. Give in to me. That's probably killed in the bottom. In case you guys didn't see it. I don't see Aatrox in the picture here. I don't know what happened. I really, I really would love to see more or more about these type of. I guess these uh, legends of Runeterra almost have their own some non-canon stories, which is very sometimes interesting to check out. It's like alternate ending in a way. That was cool. Well, anyway, that that was all all the all the videos, both of the videos. There's nothing else to check. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really loved checking out about uh, checking out Zolani, and if any of you uh, that are knows about or that knows about Zolani or her lore just let me know in the comments just her basic background would love to hear more about her and I would probably like to check more uh more of these lore on champions in general like Zolani Aatrox I mean I know a lot about Aatrox obviously Zolani like Volibear uh Aesol I know a lot about her but maybe like Swain I think we already checked out Swain never mind but I think you get the you get the gist of it right but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's nothing much else to be said. It was both amazing, so I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. And as usual, I will link both of the original videos in the description so you guys can go check out and support the creator channel and the original video itself. They absolutely deserve it. But for now, thank you guys for watching. And as usual, thanks to that viewer for recommending me this, uh, these two videos. It was absolutely a blast to check out. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.